Welcome back to Cover Killer Nation's Heavy Metal Holidays. Here we have another couple of bands for you to check out from Heavy Metal's history, so you might have something brand new to listen to during this holiday season, whichever it is that you happen to celebrate. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. On with the bands. At their core, Matter Mortem is considered to be a progressive metal band. These veterans from Norway have been around since 1993 and have released several albums under Century Media or The End or Peaceful Records, but in reality this is a group that combines female vocals along with progressive metal, avant-garde, and even some elements of doom. The album that you see on the screen there, Deadlands, was released by The End Records in 2002 and is absolutely excellent. I actually picked this up as just a random purchase during an order about, well, 13 years ago, right whenever it came up, and it truly surprised me just how captivating that this album was. This is kind of one that's for the strange, strange metal fan within you, and it's one that I certainly recommend. Take a shot with this one this holiday season. Vesperian Sorrow is a black metal band that's housed in Austin, Texas, right here in the United States. Unlike traditional black metal projects, instead of dealing with the occult or evil, this is a group that talks primarily about the stars and the cosmos, making them a kind of unique project. Regenesis Creation, which is the album that you see on your screen, is one that certainly captivated me. These guys were a recommendation from a friend of mine many years after this album had came out, and the whole thing ended up just becoming a bit of an obsession with this ending up being housed on my iPod for many years back whenever I owned one. If you want a group that certainly sounds a little bit raw and a little bit different, but still has a lot of the pure elements of a black metal band, this is a band to certainly gravitate towards. <laughs> gravitate towards. You know, <laughs> like gravity. That joke was really bad. Just check these guys out. If you follow Heavy Metal's underground scene at all, especially here in 2015, then the name Revenge has probably come up quite a bit, especially within the past couple of months, especially because of Behold Total Rejection, the album that you see on your screen. This is an album that's been getting a lot of coverage, and I'm actually kind of sorry that I didn't get the chance to review it whenever it dropped, because this is black metal slash death metal, just... Actually, the best way to really to describe this band is just fucking insanity. This is a band that has been together since the first portion of the 2000s and has just continued to grow and morph their sound with each passing release, whether it be an album or an EP. Really, the best way to describe these guys' attack is just aural assault, which really kind of, you know, goes along with the insanity idea. This is one where you just need to say fuck it all and just give it a shot, because this is a group that is poised to perhaps break out in years to come. Either that, or they're just poised to become one of your favorite underground treats. And with that being said, thank you for watching Day 3 of A Heavy Metal Holidays. Hopefully you found a couple of new bands to check out, and if you've already heard of these, leave in the comments below some great suggestions for other subscribers. I'm Cover Killer Nation, and I'll see you tomorrow whenever we continue with Day 4 of A Very Heavy Metal Holidays.